All right, folks, today we're going to dive deep into the top five fastest space rockets and probes over the last 60 years. At number five, we've got Voyager 1. Just a tad faster than its sibling, it zooms through space at a leisurely 34,000 miles per hour. It's like watching your granddad on a mobility scooter, but in space. Launched in 1977, this little trooper has been exploring the outer planets and their moons for decades. Can you imagine what its travel diary looks like? Must be out of this world. In fourth place, we've got the New Horizons probe. This speed demon raced past Pluto at an impressive 36,373 miles per hour. It's like a cheeky little greyhound chasing after a celestial rabbit. Or like me, running away from awkward social situations. Sharing the third spot are Helios 1 and Helios 2. These two probes were launched by NASA and the German Aerospace Center to study the solar wind and the sun's outer atmosphere. Helios 2 holds the record for the closest approach to the sun, reaching speeds of around 157,000 miles per hour. That's faster than me running out of a pub when it's my round. Runner-up is Juno orbiting Jupiter at a mind-blowing 165,000 miles per hour. It's like a cosmic roller coaster, but without the safety bar. Hold on tight, Juno. This spacecraft was launched in 2011 and arrived at Jupiter in 2016. Juno's mission is to study Jupiter's atmosphere, magnetic field, and internal structure. Talk about getting to know someone, eh? And now, the grand champion. The Parker Solar Probe can reach a staggering 430,000 miles per hour. It's like a sunburned cheetah sprinting through the Sahara. Blimey, launched in 2018, the probe's mission is to study the sun's outer corona and solar wind. It's going to get up close and personal with our favorite fiery ball. Let's hope it packed some sunscreen. So there you have it, the top five speedsters of space. I don't know about you, but I'd be rubbish at driving any of these. I can't even parallel park. It's amazing to think about how far we've come in exploring the cosmos. These incredible machines have given us a better understanding of our universe, and they're still going. Anyway, don't forget to like and all that shenanigans. Until next time, keep your eyes on the skies and your feet on the ground.